Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me as I record your words. Please dip every word I speak on your behalf in your precious blood so that they reach the hearts and minds of all the people you wish to communicate with. I ask this of the Father in your name, my Jesus. Hello everybody. Okay, uh, my friend begins this message and she speaks. I had been thinking recently of the many people who state that they felt betrayed when their prayers were not heard or answered, and how desolate it left them. I was looking across the room at the sacred heart picture of Jesus, and suddenly became aware that Jesus was answering my thoughts via locution. And Jesus speaks to her. Those who speak of betrayal are usually the betrayers. God cannot betray anyone. No, beloved, God never betrays. It is God who is usually betrayed. How can I betray when I am the light? To betray means that the light has gone out. The light cannot go out. I am the eternal light. If I had remained in the grave, if I had not risen, you could have accused us of betrayal because when you... Uh, when you see me, you would not be sure that it is me. But I rose from the dead. I was seen and touched and felt and recognized and admitted to after my resurrection from the dead. Am I not then the light, the true light? The, the light can never go out. It is eternal, which means forever and forever. Many of our beloveds, when they think that life has dealt them more than they can bear, accuse us of betrayal. This is not so. It cannot be. I stress this so that it is imprinted upon the mind. God does not and cannot betray. Neither can I or the Holy Spirit. It is impossible. Remember this. We understand, though, when our beloved speak of betrayal because we understand the pain and the frustration and the aloneness and the dryness which our beloveds often experience. But it must be so, for these features are part of the growth processes, part of the strengthening and the elevating, as it were. Elevating means that our beloveds can rise above these feelings of betrayal by, by using the very things which they consider to have been betrayed with, by using them as building blocks upon which they may rise from the depths of their very despair. I, I, I should not say despair, Jesus says, for one should never despair. But for the sake of argument, I use the word as it is more easily understood and accepted. So I say, upon these building blocks, our beloveds can rise above their despair, or whatever is affecting them, with grace, of course, with the grace of the Godhead. Only with this grace can it be done. From the very acts of the so-called despair spring the rays of hope for those who are truly faithful. It is a built-in proviso for the faithful. So, I say again that out of their so-called, I repeat, so-called despair springs hope eternal. For when this so-called despair, in brackets, Jesus says, again I use the word hesitantly because my faithfuls should never, never be associated with this term. But when the so-called despair has been eased, hope springs eternal. Out of the strength which has been achieved usually comes a greater strengthening of belief, a greater acceptance of how my beloved should bear the cross with me, must share the cross with me. Tell them. It has been some time since we have been together like this, but again we must soon know the sweet communion of souls your soul and my soul, regardless of whatever way you may feel when you have betrayed me, by negligence, by straying a little from my side. Nevertheless, I am always and ever ready to clasp my own again to my bosom when they turn their faces to me. Tell them, I love all with an intensity that man can never comprehend. The mind has limited understanding of the things of heaven. No matter how much we give to you, there is much more that you can never learn while still upon earth. Much more that the human mind will never fully grasp 
or understand. So I say again that I love all with an intensity that you will never be able to fathom. All cannot be expected to return my love in this way. Few are capable of coming near enough. I repeat, few. But those who come at all, those who love me or profess to love me, truly believing that they do, erring at the slightest distraction because their love is not strong enough to withstand and the grace earned insufficient to fortify them against this, once they come at all, the arms of all those to whom they turn in heaven are open and waiting to receive them. Tell them this. And Jesus means by all those in heaven. He means the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He means the Blessed Mother, the Queen of Heaven and Earth, the Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary. Um, he, he means the holy saints in heaven. They hear our prayers and they can answer our prayers with the permission and the graces from Jesus because all gifts are given from and through Jesus. Everything in heaven goes through Jesus because He is the only way. But some of you have to learn that He uses other people like the Blessed Mother and the Heavenly Saints. Okay? Uh, I pray, I pray in Jesus' name, my Father God, the Almighty Father in Heaven, that, that these holy words really hit our hearts and souls, especially those who need you the most. Let it bypass our pride our egos. Please bend us and shape us and recreate us the way you want us to be. Help us in all of our needs. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.